Right, what is going on guys? Welcome to episode number 3 of our trading series and episode number 1 of Saving for Silver. Thank you to 77 Metallica for coming up with the name suggestion and basically the aim of this series is going to be saving up for Inform Tiago Silva. But for now it's just going to be Tiago Silva, the regular version, because he's expensive as it is, let alone his Inform. And as you can see we sold them four from last episode for about 400 coins each. One of them went for 600, so we doubled, even tripled our money because we paid maximum 250 for them and i ended up buying some more i don't know what the random striker is but i took a risk with that 89 pace right mid bought him for 500 coins he actually ends up going for an average of 500 but i do end up selling them for a thousand you will see later on in the video so i got a bit of luck there then we invest all our 8,000 coins into these players a bunch of silvers as you can see that guy from last episode with the 80 pace center mid for huddlesfield bought a few of him for 200 coins and 250 coins and the rest were just a bunch of silvers that are going for 250. So I thought discard value. Then as you can see there, that 70 pace English player and that German player end up selling for around two grand and one grand each. And that's my deal of the day. I've forgotten his name, Omas or something. But he ended up selling for an amazing price. You'll see that later on. And that Mikkel, ah, oh, that is the deal of the day actually. Also I got a herd, but you don't see me buying him because I bought him when I wasn't recording. Purely because I had a bit of money from some of the players selling. But then Mikkel ended up did winning for that 700 coins. And we, you, uh, I'll show you here how much I eventually sold him for. And guys, well you can just look at it. You can put a 1,000 coins there. Sold this next guy for 400. Bought him for 200. So it was a big bargain. Then that guy, 250 I got him for. Sold for 2 grand. Massive profit. Heard. I bought him for, I think it was 400 coins. He ended up selling for 2,300. 2 grand profit. Easy. 700 there. 700 there. The rest of these players just went for double their money. 500 coins. Ah. Oh, the beautiful Mikkel. 3,500. The average was around 3,000 when I stuck him up. But I took a risk. And it paid off. Then this guy, 1,700 profit, about 1,500 minus tax. And then this was a uh, a random one, that guy. He eventually went for 1,000, that French player. Not sure why. But the rest of the players were pretty tricky to sell. And I thought if I discard them, I don't lose any money on it. So I decided to go for it. And we do end up on around 18,000 coins. And as soon as we started with, I think it was 8,000 last time, for a night's worth of trading, that is impressive profit. That's around 10K. And basically what I do... If you want to do this as well, if you go on quite late at night, I don't normally go to sleep until about 12. So I go on about then and just click silver player, 250 start bid. And you just bid on all the players you think will sell for more than that. And also another tactic I use is filter out either Premier League or England players. Because that's the kind of market I know. And I know they'll sell because teams like that are popular. Brazil is another one. But you can kind of work that out for yourself as you go in. It's quite hard to teach. Because you just kind of pick it up as you go along. So remember to try that, people. Tell me how many coins you get. Tell me what you thought of this episode. I'll probably be doing this method for a couple more episodes. Then I'll move on to a couple others for you. As long as they still work, seeing as I haven't traded on this for a fucking long time. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you for taking your time out of the day to watch me. And I shall see you guys later. That is just my watch list. I don't know why I've stuck it in there, but... I was seeing how much that Mikel was going for and that herd. I missed out on that massive deal, 1,300 buyout. But hey, life goes on. Thank you for watching. Again, peace out. Duh.